few years ago, for my son's birthday, we bought him one of these Logitech Attack 3s. They, they have newer models, they're pretty much the same. We tried the Logitech drivers at the time and they just didn't work. They had some real user unfriendliness. They wouldn't work with online games. Uh, Logitech support, frankly, wasn't very good. I tried uh, tried the different forums and all those different places to try to find answers, and we just we just couldn't use it for online games. I uh, tried XPad or I tried Joy the Key. They seem to cause uh, the hard crashes, the blue screens of death, where you have to shut your computer off and reboot. And finally, I went back to the uh, Logitech drivers. I did some kludges, some workarounds, and finally got it to work. Seems to work rather well. It's faster than the others like Xpatter and doesn't cause the crashes. So I've been very happy with it and I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, it just requires some patience. It's uh, not hard to do, but it, there are quite a few steps. So be patient, follow along. I'll put comments in the description and I'll include my basic configuration uh, so that uh, you don't have to spend days trying to configure this thing. Okay, so let's get started. Step one, we need to uh, go to the Logitech website and look up this file, this LGS510.exe or the equivalent for your operating system. I'm using XP on this machine and uh, your uh, version of the attack uh, game controller joystick. And here's where I found it is right here. Uh, you'll download that, put it in a folder. I called mine C colon slash T slash Logitech and that's where we're going to put it. Now we'll go on to the next step. Make sure your game controller is plugged in and then run this program. Say run. If it takes too long I'll speed up the video. It's doing its job. Okay, finished. Here we go. There's four stages. Uh, I'm going to select English because that's what I know. Uh, yes, fine. I accept the agreement. Make sure it doesn't have any weird stuff in it. Okay, fine. I accept. Software installation. Again, if this takes too long, I'll speed it up on the video. Welcome to the Logitech Gaming Software Setup Wizard. Please wait while setup shuts down existing Logitech applications. I don't think there are any on this machine. Detection process. It's detecting all of my Logitech game controllers, which I have just one. Still detecting. Okay, device 3 is ready. Select next to calibrate. Uh, I got the joystick sitting here on my desk, so uh, verify by pressing stuff. Okay, I'm moving the throttle, which is that little thing that's yellow right there. Uh, move the joystick forward, backward, left and right, squeeze the fire buttons, push all these different buttons. Everything seems to be working. Uh, yeah, okay, so we will say okay. Uh, view the readme, not really, thank you. Finish, register your product, I've already done that. So now we will say done and we will be ready for our step three. Step three, if this is not open, open up the Logitech uh, profiler, select a device. I've only got one, so we'll do that. Uh, there it is. 
and select the game we're going to create a new game profile so let's just call it tanky online call it 01 now here's one of the tricks this is expecting a program and if you try to run this without a program uh, it, it will not happen nothing will happen it will just keep going back giving you strange errors so what we're going to do is we are going to say new text document and we're going to say fake.exe and it's going to say are you sure you want to change the extension I'm going to say yes so now I've got this basically it's an empty executable file and we're going to go browse we're going to look up my computer see where I put this file was under Logitech fake and open and then just pick the the uh, icon there and say OK so what this has done is it we have uh, used our attack our game is tanky online and now what's going to happen is when we tell it to play tanky online it's going to go out and it's going to execute this fake file and if that fake file is not there it won't let you go on so we execute this fake file and it does absolutely nothing but it will allow the controller then to go on and to do its thing so now we're going to go out and we're going to uh, program the controller to do what we want. For our next step, we're going to go to Options, Global Profiler Settings. Then we're going to choose the Apply Persistent Profile. And we're going to select our Tanky Online 01, which is the only one we have. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to remove that checkbox, the Start Profiler at System Startup. Remove that one. Make sure the switch selected device to ID 1 is checked and then remove the last check. We'll uncheck the scan for new games on startup and then we're going to say OK. And we're done with that step. Let's program some of the key functions. So here we have the buttons listed and when I squeeze a button on the joystick it will show me which button I'm squeezing. So right now I'm squeezing the trigger button and in tanky that trigger button is the space bar so I will click on trigger select keystroke new keystroke because I haven't done this on this machine yet I will press record and what this is is recording the keystrokes from the keyboard so record press the space and then stop and say OK so now I have a keystroke space so when I press the trigger button over here I'm going to get a space which in again in tanky is the fire button and I'm going to go through and we're going to look at some of the other buttons we can program button two is uh, back on the back of the controller right here sometimes these lines are hard to see and I can't expand this anymore I cannot expand this anymore so uh, typically I like this button right here which is button four to be the uh, turret to turn left and so we will click on that one. I will say select keystroke, new keystroke. And as I recall, that would be the Z button. So I will say record, press the Z, and then stop and say OK. So this should turn my turret to the, to the left. The next button is the, check it with the, I can check it with the joystick if I'm not sure, and I'm not sure. So I will press the button I want on the joystick, and that is correct, button 5. So I want to turn the turret to the right, select the keystroke, new keystroke, and that will be the X button, as I recall. Record, X, stop, OK. And the C, as I recall, is the, is the uh, center button, and I like to put that right there. So that is button number three and I will say select keystroke, new keystroke, record, C, stop, OK. So now what I have are the basic keystrokes on here. So let's talk about the x-axis, y-axis thing down here. 
that is when you move the joystick and the x-axis is when you move it left and right and the y-axis is when you move it forward and backwards and of course we want our tank to move forward and backwards and left and right when we do these so let's uh, let's first of all look at the x-axis I'll click that select the x the axis assignment uh, and we'll just say left right and so we'll say axis left and what we'll do is we need to create a new keystroke which will be the left arrow edit new keystroke record left arrow and stop and we'll say okay assignment is keystroke left and we'll do the same thing for axis right we don't have anything yet so we'll say edit new keystroke record we're gonna push the right arrow button say stop okay um, okay axis right keystroke right and then we'll say okay so this will give us our left and right directions with the tank motion okay y-axis the forward and backwards we'll select the axis assignment new axis assignment we'll say forward backward and we have no assignment for that yet we'll have to edit new keystroke record we're going to go forward and then stop and say okay okay axis forward we will go keystroke up so we had the up arrow and then we'll do this one the axis backward edit new keystroke record and then the down arrow stop okay okay keystroke and where is it keystroke down and say okay so now when we move our controller left and right forward and backward it will do that it won't show it here but it will do that when we uh, when we uh, play the game once you get things programmed where you want them you want to save your profile and you will say export profile export and I'm just gonna save it in this same folder we had and I'll call it take online 01 and it'll be an XML file and I will say save and there it is it pops right up so all you have to do is make sure your keypad is active and get in the game and there we go I will say it doesn't work for uh, every computer. I put it in two and it works on one and not on the other. The one it does work on happens to have a Logitech wireless mouse and keyboard. I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but ouch. Um, clearly it does work. And there we go. Okay, well, uh, that's pretty much it. Just uh, need to get your your Logitech uh, controller uh, driver up and going and crank your tank and uh, go play. Well, hope you found it interesting and useful.